Hi, welcome to RC Pylon TV. I'm Don Stigall, and today's video is about the Miss Cosmic Wind EF1 Pylon Racer. The EF1 racing class requires that airplanes be mostly built up, but they can have some fiberglass parts. Because of this, a number of laser cut kits have been created. One of those kits is now the Miss Cosmic Wind. StigallHobbies.com will be selling the Miss Cosmic Wind sometime in September or October of 2017. But I've got to build one for myself and one for somebody else. And I'm going to videotape the building process so you can see how nicely these laser cut kits go together. One thing I've got to do is make new molds for the hatch in the cow and on this particular hatch you can see a clear canopy has been fitted so I'll make a mold for pulling clear canopies as well. The wing actually uses a jig that uses eighth inch rods and those go through holes in the ribs to hold the wing straight. And the leading edge and the trailing edge align the rest of the parts. So it should be pretty easy to build the wing. However, I need to get on these molds sooner rather than later. And I'm going to build the fuselage first. I may build the wing as I'm building the fuselage if I have time. But the fuselage parts have pieces that have tabs on them that fit into the doublers that double the sides of the fuselage. And the fuselage sides have lightning holes in them and the bottom of the fuselage is also tab locked so it should be easy to get a straight fuselage and one other piece is there's a crutch that goes in the rear of the fuselage and it has tabs on it so with tab locking it should be pretty easy to get this fuselage built and get it built straight. What I'm going to try doing is taking the plywood parts for the fuselage and snapping those together and seeing if I can actually fit the fuselage sides on after I have the uh, main portion of the front part of the plane built. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all of the plywood pieces for the fuselage. And I'll probably go ahead and take all the wing parts out as well and get all the different pieces ready for construction. And in part two, I'll be working on building the fuselage. If you haven't subscribed to rcpylon.tv yet, please do. And you can go to DonStigall.com and they'll take you to my personal video channel. I post more stuff there, uh, some non-pylon racing stuff, but RC Pylon TV is all pylon related. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to RC Pylon TV.